Welcome to another video on Auto Garage Life and today we're going to be showing you how to find and fix a leak on your R220, 230 sorry, Mercedes SL and the leak we were getting was coming in to the trunk area and settling about here or if this was raised up about there on both sides and now the leak was coming from this seal here where it meets the main seal and this is on the rear window and it's on both sides so I've just water tested this car because we've just fixed it and the car is dripping wet so there might be some water coming in elsewhere but we have just fixed this and it's soaked the car with a hose and now it's dry as a bone so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what we did and how to fix this leak Thanks. Okay, so today we're going to be replacing the main seal at the bottom of the windscreen. So, videos that I've seen so far, people have tried doing this with the top half up, half down. So it's sitting and they can access this main seal. So, there are four on the main seal when it's, the roof's closed. You can see the four the bolts, there's one there. There's another one underneath that I can get underneath I'll show you. Yeah, it's there, right? So I've taken that one off, two on that side. And then there's also two the same on the other side. Now I've found if we put the top up to the access position, you can get into both of them very, very easily. And you can get into these very, very easily. So they're eight millimeter, they're eight millimeters. So you can access them with a socket, no problem. So I've taken these ones off already, and this one's just sitting loose. We'll put it over here. But once they're off, that is literally all that's holding that seal on. It is pushed in throughout all of this on the R230. And it's stuck on with what's like 3M double-sided tape. Mine is very, very loose. So now I should be able to just pop this off, one-handed of course. I should be able to loosen it up all the way down. There we are. And this will just come off now. And you can see why it's been leaking. So, pop it in there. And this just comes off with these two. So the underside of the seal, you can see where the 3M tape is. See that line? That's the old tape. Look how dirty it is in there. So the water's been getting past that and dripping out these bits which fall here. And look at the state of the metal on the window. So the window, the water's been getting in here for a long, long time. It just finds its way down here and drips down here. And you end up getting that bit wet and that bit wet. So first job is to clean off this main seal and reapply the 3M tape all along the length of it and then clean all of this thoroughly so there's no remnants of anything like that there so I'll go and clean it just now and we'll pick it up once ready to reinstall the 3M tape Right, so we've got all the old adhesive off and I've tried to clean that up as best I can as you can see the water's clearly bringing it into this lip for quite some time because there is quite a lot of rust starting to form, not too bad, it's not flaking or anything like that, it's still solid. So, clean this up as best we can, kind of using these scouring pads, 3M pads, just to make sure I get the remnants of the adhesive off. They seem to be working quite well. So now I'm going to put some Q-Rust on this whole thing to give it a nice clean surface before we put the other seal 
back on the new tape. Right, so we've treated the whole thing with Hammerite Q-Rust. And we just went over it and this will eventually turn completely black in about 10-15 minutes. So we're going to let that dry and then we'll come back and make sure it's okay and then we'll go and deal with the seal itself. So that's what we use to treat the rust. A little bottle of Hammerite Q-Rust. So it converts rusty metal into a clean surface. It takes about 10-15 minutes and it just becomes black. So it's just makes it look that little bit nicer, give it a bit of protection. So we've coated it twice now with this. And we'll see how it looks in about 15 minutes time. 15 minutes for me, five seconds for you. Okay, so now we're painstakingly taking off this strip of adhesive. So you can see where it's been. And I've got to there. So I'm halfway there with this. And literally, that's just a case of trying to pick it off or sand it off. It does come off. It just takes a long, long time. And if you try putting your old adhesive on top of this, it's not going to work, I don't think so. I'm going to take all this off, take my time, so that I know that this is going to be resealed properly. And you can see all the dirt that's built up in the ridge there of this seal. So, we're here, and I've got all this to do, down to there. So, halfway there. Okay. Now, okay. Now we've got the seal as clean as it's going to get. As a 17 year old seal, so can't expect perfection. So what you've got to do now is put some 3M tape from here all the way along until the end. So I've got this half inch 3M double sided tape and this is good strong stuff. I've used this to hold on side vents fake side vents in a Mustang for, for years so it does work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and apply this, the whole length of this, and leave a bit at the end so I can peel it off before I permanently fix it on at the car. So let's go with that. And the video look. Hmm. And that's the 3M tape installed on the back side of the seal. And we're just going to fit it on here. Once it's on we'll strip the back of the tape off and that will be it. Okay, so cleaning this up a bit because it needs to be quite smooth to attach the new butyl or 3M tape to it. So I'm going to sand this whole thing. It's not too bad, it's just a bit dusty and a bit surface rust on it. So I'm going to sand it and I'm going to see if I can get some hammer out and paint it. So I've kind of went over this now. Sanding it. Hoover it up now. Threatening on M539 restorations just to keep me going. Oh, yeah, got the black badge on at the front, that's a good thing. So, just give this a quick rinse down and we'll see if we'll get any paint for it. And I'm just making sure there's no remnants of the old butyl or 3M tape on here. 
which it looks quite bumpy on camera I expect but it is actually pretty smooth when you feel it so you have a wee touch there so this whole section here needs to be sealed off so water doesn't get down in this lip okay so we'll go and see if we can paint it okay so one inch brush and some Hammerite or Fortress brand, so I direct to metal paint. Just apply it directly to rust and it gives it a nice black surface and it'll stop it getting any worse. So let's go and apply that to this, the seal part now. So that's now been painted with a Hammerite direct to metal paint. Let that dry. See how? Right, so as well as the 3M, we went to town with the RTV sealant. So I want to make sure I don't have to take this back off again. So it looks messy, but it will squash together when we put it onto the car. And it will hopefully make a better seal than what was there, because I don't think the 3M tape will be enough on its own to stop the water getting past. So hopefully, this will take care of it. Let's try it. Okay, so we've fitted that back on now. And I'm just going to tidy up the sealant because it's because we use so much that it's starting to spread out. But you can get a nice clean line. You won't even notice it. And down here. And that is coming off there, but Previously that didn't sit flush. So we shall see what it looks like. Okay, new seal is on. I have tested it. I'll just show you how I test it. So, previously, water would just drip constantly from here, right where my finger is, onto that. You can still see the damp patch where it was earlier on. And even when I did it very carefully, pouring a jug of water on it, it would still drip. So not quite as good as rainfall, but it's enough to test that the seal is done, right? So if I do this with water, just gently pour it on, you can see it gathering in the seal. But before when I did this, it was just going straight into the trunk and the seal wasn't doing its job at all. Now if I do it, nothing gets past it. And it has been sitting out in the rain for a wee while. I just thought I'd try and show this live. So the water now runs down the channel here. Down here. That comes out through here. Exactly where it should be. So now I'm pretty happy about that because it was obvious that it was coming in. I've checked the trunk. This is all bone dry in here. There was a wee bit of dampness underneath the sponge here. I think just because water had dripped down and that sponge has just started to soak it up, but we'll keep an eye on that. So that's your hydraulic pump for the roof and below it is the, the pump that controls the central locking and the boot lid and the soft close, the air pump. So there's two underneath these foam, foam uh, pads, but that is great. You can see I need to clean in here now, so that now looks pretty dirty, but the seal that I sealed, you can see the RTV just kind of squeezing through. But I stand here, it doesn't look as if there's anything. I'm very happy with that. So, if anyone has a leak and it's dripping onto these sections here, give this a shot. I hope that helps. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.